Well, I think there are two main problems. The first, the remit is impossibly wide. Uh, a lawyer looks at that remit and thinks, you must be joking. Mm -hmm. It's to inquire into uh, whether state institutions and non-state institutions have complied with their duty of care to mm -hmm. children under their protection. Without limit in time, it could go back 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. Uh, the other problem is there's no time limit within which the report has to be made. If you give a wide remit, but a time limit, let's say, come back within a year, then the people con conducting the inquiry can say, well, we can only, as it were, carry out this wide remit within a certain narrow sphere. The impression one has is it's a very wide sphere which they've been asked to look into, and that's caused a lot of problems subsequently. And so far, we're losing or have lost seven lawyers on that <coughs> inquiry. Why well, is that? Uh, well... Uh, we haven't been told the exact reasons, that's part of the problem, but I, all I can say is, as a lawyer, it is virtually inconceivable that lawyers would resign from an inquiry. Really? Um, I, I think one thing which is very striking is that uh, there is no provision in the Inquiries Act to work out what happens when you have this position. The reason for that is it just doesn't happen normally. And, and that's the problem which obviously the Home Affairs Committee came across. Everyone effectively clammed up and said, I'm sorry, I can't tell you any more. Mm -hmm. But on the question of, uh, this is what lawyers are meant to do, isn't it? I mean, uncover injustice. And so therefore, this is actually, it's, it, it's a very big job for lawyers. They presumably don't walk away lightly because, in fact, it's the very people they're trying to help that, that, that are inevitably let down. Well, I think once you take on a brief, you do it. That's mm -hmm. that. Um, you may not want to take on a brief, and if, you're, if you have reasons for not doing so, you can. But uh, a case like this, I could understand why someone might say, I can't commit five years of my mm. life to doing it. But I think once you have, then you're duty-bound to mm. carry on, and it takes the most serious circumstances to drop out. Do you think it's fixable? What do you think could be done? Well, or not? I don't know, but my guess would be the sensible way forward would be to terminate this inquiry and to start a new one on a narrower basis with a time limit within which the report has to be made. And I think I'm not the only lawyer who says that. I've seen other people suggesting that too. Thank you both very much indeed.